Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Phoenix emulation projects so you can play Atari Jaguar games on your PC. So the first thing you're going to do is scroll down to the description of this video and click on the three links I got down there for you. And the first one will lead you to the emulator page. It's going to be in Russian. If you have something like Google Chrome, you can click right here and translate it. And if you can't translate it, it's okay because you'll be able to find what we need anyway. So you're going to scroll down until you see this list of links right here, all zip files. And if you have a 32-bit computer, you're gonna download the Win32 one. And if you have a 64-bit computer, download the Win64 one. Then we're gonna head over to our next page to grab a translation patch for the emulator itself. And we're gonna scroll down until we can see two. And you can click either of these links and it'll bring you to a page where you can download the file. And then we're gonna to go to our third page for the BIOS. And what you have to do is click right here where it says download and you can download the BIOS file. Now we have all three files we need to set up our emulator. So we're going to open up our first file that we downloaded and we're going to click and drag the file that's inside of it onto our desktop. And once it's on our desktop, we can open up that folder and we can click on the second link we downloaded. And you can copy all this stuff in here into here and press replace. And now what we're going to do is open up the Phoenix Emu project exe in that folder. And now that we're here, we're going to click on these three little squares. And as you do that, it'll populate more folders in that folder on our desktop. And once it does that, we're going to go to the folder that says Jaguar. Then we're going to click BIOS. And we're going to open up our third download. And we're going to click and drag our BIOS file from in here to here. And then we're going to click the back button and we're going to go to cartridges. This is the folder where we put all our games, so you can copy all your games into this folder. Once you've moved your games, you can go back to the emulator itself, and you're going to click on File. Then you're going to go to Add BIOS File to the collection. Then you're going to click on Jaguar, BIOS, and double-click the file we added. Now go to where it says BIOS right here. Hit the drop-down menu and double-click the BIOS to load it. Then we're going to go to File again go to add cartridges then you're going to go to Jaguar cartridge you're going to select all your games and press open and I'll add them to your cartridge list the last thing we have to do is set up a controller and the way we do that is we go to tools then settings make sure controller is highlighted right here and hit create some of the text is in Russian, but all the button prompts are in English. So it says press button up. So press up, down, left, right, A, B, C. This one is start. This one is select. The next 12 are the additional 12 buttons on the bottom of the controller. So assign those to whatever you want them to be as well. And after we're done, hit complete and then press exit. Now all we have to do is load up a game. And the way you do that is by clicking this down arrow next to cartridge, double clicking a game, and pressing the power button to load up the game. You can make it full screen by pressing view and going and clicking F11. You can also take off the sidebars that are here, meaning this thing right here. And to do save states, you can go to command and go to save state or load state, or you can hit F5 or F8 as the hotkey. So I want to say thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope it helped. And if it did, be sure to like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I got a bunch of stuff on emulation you might find helpful as well. And until the next time, you guys have a good one.